Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William. Today I'm ranking my Red Wing boots from the worst to the best. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, I am ranking my Red Wing collection from my least favorite to my most favorite. So whether you are a fan of Red Wing and you just wanna know which one I prefer, um, or if you're looking to get into uh, boots and you're looking at Red Wings and you're wondering which one you should start with, then stick around to the end because I'm naming my favorite Red Wing boot at the very end of the video. But also you wanna make sure you stick around and see the first one, because which one is my least favorite Red Wing boot? Before I get into this, before I start, I first wanna say that I've actually had experience with five different Red Wing boots, uh, but you'll see me only holding four of these right here. Gave one pair to my brother, so I'm going to include that. That is the blacksmith, so I don't currently still have that with me, but I let my brother have it uh, because I have so many pairs of boots and that was just a really cool boot and I liked it a lot. So I gave it to my brother, so I don't have that one with me, but uh, let's kick it off with my least favorite right now. And that is the Red Wing Classic Chelsea. Now this is a pretty new boot. Uh, it is a new addition to the Heritage Collection. And as you can see, it is a chunky style Chelsea boot. It's not that I don't like this boot. Uh, I do like this boot. And actually you can see I've, I've worn it a good amount and I put it on, I actually almost wear this boot every single day, even if it's not for very long to just go outside. I love the fact that it is uh, easy to put on, uh, that it has this nylon pull tab that just, boom, you just like put it on, go out for any sort of chores, anything like this. I helped my brother grab a smoker today uh, and it was like weighed 400 pounds of steel and I definitely put these ones on. These were the boots that I chose for that job, uh, helping him lug it into his backyard. So it's not that I don't like these boots. It's just from a style perspective, they're built on the same bump toe last as the Iron Ranger and the Blacksmith. So they have a similar shape like that, but there's nothing to me so special about these boots that I, you couldn't find elsewhere. You know, it's if I'm going for a Chelsea boot, I want something a little more sleek, more refined, something with a lot more elegance to it. And this doesn't quite fit that bill. To me, it's just like a, uh, you know, it's just a slip on type work boot for light duty work. Uh, I do have this in ebony harness. I love the leather. Uh, I'm also not such a huge fan of wedge soles. I just don't think that they look all that great. They are super comfortable. So I'm gonna say the big pros of the Red Wing Chelsea, super comfortable, really easy to put on. The leather's phenomenal. The construction is great. I mean, it's the same 360 degree Goodyear welt, but overall for me, a Chelsea boot should be a lot sleeker, a lot slimmer. And this is more that bulbous workwear type Chelsea boot, which to me, I would rather go with something like an Iron Ranger, like the Blacksmith, something with a little, uh, that just looks the part a little bit more, in my personal opinion. After that, I'm gonna put up the Red Wing Classic Mock Toe. Now, some of you are gonna disagree with me because this is one of Red Wing's most popular boots. This is in the Slate Mule Skinner leather. Uh, again, another fantastic leather, 360 degree Goodyear welt, and then it has the crepe wedge sole on here, same sole, uh, so the Chelsea and the Classic Mock, same sole, but, and, and pretty similar construction as well. But for me, you know, the classic mock toe, it's great. It's a great looking work boot. It's a classic heritage boot, but his style just doesn't get me going. Uh, you know, one of the issues that I have with this boot is it does take a little while to put on because there are no uh, speed hooks at all, no speed hooks. So it takes a little bit longer to put on. That's not such a big issue. Um, the pros of this boot is that it is a pretty durable boot. You're dealing with all leather insole, a cork filler in the midsole, 360 degree good you welt. You can always replace this uh, outsole whenever you need to. I did notice that the outsole is pretty grippy. It has a lot of traction on it. Uh, I did a test comparing this to the Thursday Diplomat, the uh, Thoroughgood, yeah, the Thoroughgood Mock Toe and the Danner Bull Run. And the Red Wing was, turned out to be one of my favorite Mock Toes. It was tied up there with the Thursday Diplomat because the slip resistance was awesome. And there is 2.3 millimeter thick leather out here. So, and, and also all SB Foot Tanning Company leather is incredible. It's really, really well done. So overall, this is a great boot. But from a style perspective, I mainly wear my boots for style and it's a pretty chunky. It's got a pretty tall profile to it. And ultimately it doesn't fit into my wardrobe as well as some other options like the Thursday Diplomat. One notch higher than the Red Wing Mock Toe is the Red Wing Blacksmith. Now I put this above the Mock Toe because I really enjoy 
I like the, the way it looks. It looks very, very similar to a, a Red Wing Iron Ranger. The biggest difference is that it doesn't have the cap toe. Uh, it's a little bit different in the backstay, and then it also has this kind of um, this kind of piping around the ankle right here that the that the mock toe has. So the Red Wing Blacksmith's a little different. Again, I do not have this as part of my collection anymore because I gave my pair to my brother because I have so many pairs of boots. I don't need all of that. Uh, and I just wanted him to have an awesome pair of boots, so I gave it over to him, so it's no longer part of my collection. But it is number three on my list of five. I put it right in the middle. Uh, it was a really great boot while I owned it, while I had it, and I love it. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, not my favorite, but what's next? My second favorite Red Wing boot that I own, I just got it. It's a very recent purchase for me, but it is immediately shot up to the top of my list. It is the Red Wing Sawmill. Now, this is in Briar Oil Slick leather, and this boot is phenomenal. So it is built on the same number 23 last as the mock toe. So as you can see, it's got the you know similar toe box, similar shape. It's about the same, same exact height. So it's built on the same last, same shape, but there are some critical differences that to me make the sawmill a much better boot than the Red Wing mock toe. Now it's not that any of these small details are better necessarily, but the way they all add up to a different looking boot, to me, it, I, I absolutely love it. So first thing that I noticed that I really, really like is that it has these D-ring gunmetal eyelets and then two speed hooks. So this is a very quick boot to get on. You just, you know, it's winter day, you just put it on, it's no problem. It does have the Puritan triple stitching right along there. It has a 360 degree Goodyear storm welt. So as you can see right here, uh, we're dealing with, there's this extra little ridge that helps add a little more weather resistance, not a ton, but it definitely makes it a uh, more weather resistant boot overall. You also have this collar right here, this foam collar uh, that helps yeah, it just feels great. It helps insulate your sock. You know, if you're wearing a wool sock, it helps kind of press up against your ankle, so you're you're snug there. And it's also got a. It, this is one of the only boots here that is not the lining in here is not leather. Uh, it is fabric and it has insulation in it, so that is going to keep your foot a lot warmer. Now this also has, and you know, there's no way you're going to see it, but it has a wool footbed in here. So the insole is leather, has a cork filler, has a steel shank unlike the Red Wing Mock Toe. So this has a steel shank in it. And then because it has the wool footbed, again, that helps add more heat, uh, keep that heat trapped against your feet. So this is definitely a winter boot. Uh, this is not necessarily something, you know, I would definitely wear the Mock Toe in summer compared to this. This would make your feet sweat all day long if you were wearing this in the summer. But in the winter, it is pretty hard to beat. It also has a Vibram lug outsole. So when I'm looking at this boot, all the details, you know, it's like the cool D eyelets, the Mock Toe construction, the Goodyear storm welt, the heavy rubber lug sole, plus all the extra details inside. And then you got this leather collar right here. To me, that all just adds up to a really, really cool looking boot that, in my opinion, blows the mock toe out of the water. Construction's the same, it's about the same shape, but overall, uh, when I'm looking between these two, I would definitely pick the sawmill over the mock toe pretty much any day, except actually only half of the days. I'd do it in winter, I would not do it in summer. Now it's time for my ultimate favorite Red Wing boot that I own. That is, of course, the Red Wing Iron Ranger. This is the one of the boots that started it all for me. I remember seeing people wear this boot uh, back before I owned any pairs of boots. I was wearing like, you know, just like Vans and stuff like that. And I'd see people wearing this boot and I was like, what, what is that, man? That is so cool looking. And it kind of popped up over and over again. And it took me a long time to get this pair of boots. If you follow this channel for any amount of time, you may know that my first pair of boots was a Thursday Captain. And I really loved those boots and they got me in, they got me into it, like I was, I was, I'm sold. And it took me still, even after that, it took me probably like a year, year and a half to actually just go all in, get myself a pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers. And I have never looked back. I've, I really enjoy this boot. It has been such a good companion on hikes. It's been such a good companion on uh, when I'm doing like outdoor work, um, just style, walking around town. It really does a lot. Now I've had this boot for one year and as you can see, the heel right there is still holding up really, really well. There's a little bit of wear and tear, but it's doing really well. That's that Vibram 430 mini lug sole. So this has a ton of traction. And it's also really durable. I'm, this is the 811, it's amber harness. This leather has just aged super well. It's getting this beautiful patina on there. I love how it's kind of scratching and scuffing up and I see people still around, even in my apartment complex here. I see people wearing these boots 
and they just look awesome and I could tell they've had them for like three, four years. So I know this is gonna last a long time. I love the way it feels on my foot and it is just an iconic classic and something you can recognize from a mile away. So there you have it guys. That is how I would rank my Red Wing collection from my least favorite to my most favorite. If you'd like to go more in depth with any of these boots, I have video reviews on all of them. You can find those links down in the description below. The only one I haven't reviewed yet is the Sawmill. This actually just arrived like two or three days ago. Uh, so I still have a review coming on that. But there you have it. Those are my Red Wing. That's my collection from my least favorite to my most favorite. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you found it helpful, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also let me know how you would rank your Red Wings if you have a collection. Let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, put your best boot forward.